I can only say that because the men of God in our nation, the army of believers, stood in the gap for our nation. In the last election, three fundamental things happened. In that election, God came through for our nation. We've always had challenges with ethnicity. But in the last election, the people of Kenya stood firm and we voted an election that ended ethnicity in our politics. In the last election, number two, we voted. And let me say this, the last election was as close as the one in 2007-2008. But there was a whole world of a difference. In the last election, God gave us the grace and now we have set a new standard as the people of Kenya that we can go peacefully. <laughs> and we want to thank God that we have set for ourselves a new standard that we can go to the palace, we can vote for where we want, go home, go to business the next day, and wait for the results in a peaceful and tranquil manner. And I want to say to all those who prayed for the peace that surpasses every human understanding that came through for us in this election to continue to do so for our country. Amen. And finally, I have just two things uh, to tell you. Now as President of Ten. <laughs> I need help. <laughs> and let me say just two. Number one, you know our debt situation. And you know, the words of uh, Proverbs 22 and 27. I say, the borrower is a slave to the lender. You know our, our situation of debt, right? And you also know the words of Proverbs 13 and 22 that say a good man leaves an inheritance for his children, children. And the wealth of sinners is laid out for the just. Let me give you some statistics why we are where we are. Because it's good for you to know. Countries like ours in the middle income category, they raise between 20 and 25 percent of their GDP in terms of revenue. But for us, we are at 14 percent. We need to move the percentage of our revenue from 14% to 25%. We are currently collecting only 2.1 trillion. I want you to pray for our nation so that we can move our revenue from 14% to 
to 25 percent because that is where countries like ours are. I have agreed with our taxmen, and I am happy that the, the preacher talked about the taxmen here. <laughs> that as a country we must move our revenue collection from 14 to 25 percent, from 2.1 trillion to between 4 and 5 trillion. And I am trusting God for it. And I, don't and I am asking you to trust God with me for Kenya's revenues so that we can be an inheritance for our children instead of the current situation. We run the risk of leaving debt for our children. Finally, we have talked about the situation in our country. You had one mom and the church is doing it in Kambala. We have a food deficit situation in our country. We have laid out plans on how to grow enough food because it's our duty and responsibility as a government. I need help with changing our environment. And I'm asking you, and I'm really grateful that uh, the preacher talked about our environment. I need help with our environment, and we have purpose to grow 15 billion trees. God gave us this country. We must take care of it. Part of why we are proud of the situation we are in is a contribution from the world, but we have a role to play as a nation. I want to ask every believer, men and women who believe in this country, who love this country, to help us grow trees in our country. Let everybody, let the church take the lead in persuading and getting us to grow trees so that we can change the situation of our environment and we can have the opportunity to harvest water, to grow food, and eliminate hunger in our society. Those are my two requests for today. I will come back with more. <laughs> This morning when I was having tea with some friends before we came to church. Of the last day of the campaign, we had a rally in Narok, then we came to my Mayu, then we came to Nice Stadium. And then we had a problem in Kiambu. And it was 5.30. And the election campaign is supposed to, go to close at 6. And we had to go to Kiambu because we had a problem. All indications showed, opinion polls and everything else, that we were not going to win the Kiambu, uh, Kiambu town seat. So we were debating, do we go? It's only 30 minutes. And finally said you must go. So I kept on yesterday. In fact, I think at some point I was up there and coming up physically running to the plane. <laughs> there was no time. So we had 18 minutes to finish the rally in Kirigiti. And so as the minutes moved, um, and then there was no time. I realized that this one, we are not going to win unless we do something extraordinary.
So after making a short uh, uh, statement and persuading people, I decided to pray. And you know what? You want to see. <laughs>